white robe nun who was blocking my way, uh, my way of staying. I looked at her and then I looked at her feet, gave, uh, uh, collected all the uh, strength that I had, gave a cake and ran out of the door. It was, I actually don't recall how this episode ended, but you know the mind has a way of uh, saving only the good memories for us. <laughs> okay, now college. I graduated from RIC Rutkera, majored in uh, metallurgical engineering. While doing metallurgical engineering, I had a paper called Incipient Melting of Alloys. I just thought I'd do this one. <laughs> <laughs> the very first day I landed in college, I had my first taste of ragging. We had just, freshers had just landed in our hostel, and we had not even unpacked fully, and uh, we had a steady stream of uh, seniors, we used to call them. So one of these guys called me over and said, what's your state? Now, RIC is full of people from all over uh, India, so it was a typical uh, straightforward question, which state I was from. I took it in a very scientific way. I was like, solid. I was sad for a moment, and then I got my first tap. That was my, you should say, inception to RIC. Uh, college was absolute fun. We and I had a gang of uh, friends, and we used to we kind of literally ruled the, uh, the your, your cultural scene. We won almost every quiz, every dumb shot, every word game that came out of it. It was fantastic. Uh, studies was a different matter. <laughs> past uh, past college, uh, you were some called Bob Dylan saying that. Uh, 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 like a rolling stone. I mean, uh, how does it feel to be like a rolling stone? Well, after college I was uh, like a rolling stone and I tell you that the feeling was not at all good. I rolled from job to job. I, you won't believe it, I have worked as a production supervisor in an aluminium die casting unit. I have worked as a credit card salesman. And to top it all, I have worked as a forex trader. As a forex trader, I blew up 25 grand of my client's hard-earned money one day and thought, okay, this is enough, and moved on. Luckily, I got a break with ABC consultants. Four years with them, I started with them in the Bayamathu. I picked up the uh, rules of the game of recruitment, I grew with them, and then I decided, okay, it's time, I started on my own. 2003, Jan. One PC, one cable. That was all that I could call my office furniture. And I had one client. <laughs> I had given myself three months. In these three months, if I was able to break even, I wanted to, I would plan to continue, or else I was back in the workforce. I had a family to support. So, luckily, uh, I did break even, and this January, January of 2013, we have done 10 years. Enterprise Hiring Solutions, EHS, has been 10 years, and it has been one grand, I would say grand, it has been ups and downs, but a great learning experience, phenomenal journey. If you could put it this way, these last 10 years have been the foundation for EHS, and over the next 10 years, possibly, we will see the structure come up. Okay, move to family. Uh, I am married to Virgie, my wife, uh, my life partner for 15 years. Uh, she herself was a career woman, and uh, she gave up a career to take care of the home. We have two children. She, apart from being a homemaker, she's also a fantastic cook. We have two children, Amrita, age 13, and Aditya. Amrita is uh, growing up to be a, I mean, she has developed an interest in arts and she draws phenomenally well. The walls in our home are adorned with her sketches and drawings My, in our home, in our office. In fact, the Facebook walls are also. <laughs> okay, so uh, how did I land up here? In fact, uh, there was one uh, renowned motivational speaker called Harvey McGill. I listened to his tapes and CDs, and he stresses on the fact about building relationships, the importance of meeting new people and building relationships. I uh, uh, took it seriously, and th this was something which I started two years back, and eventually it has landed me here. The first day I was here at Toastmasters, I really enjoyed the, I mean, I should say, I saw the energy and enthusiasm in this room and uh, the camaraderie in this room, and decided that, okay, I have to be a part of this. I said, I'll end with a quote. Life is pretty simple. You do some stuff. Some of it works. Most of it fails. <laughs> you take what works and build on it. 
pretty soon people will copy it quickly. So what you do, you do something new, you try something new. The trick is in trying something new. Thank you. Thank you.